straight back. Got lips like Angelina, uh, belly trunk tangerine. Uh, jumping on my yeah. that's why they call it trampoline. Uh, uh, trampoline uh, like a Monday, uh, throw rock and ride it. This is sweet, sad it. That's just for plastic. I said, babe, it's a, he said, it's a, them pretty. You look like Beyonce, looking like money back, money back, money back, uh, money back. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Jets and the London Monarchs. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. carry for Trenton Cannon and not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28 yard line three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down when we see those runs to the perimeter when we see those runs to the edge we think about big breakers don't we in this case it was a modest gain but it does open up possibilities here on second down here's second and seven now from the 28 Second down, Darnold, and that's incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Pushing his way through. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And that will come the offense as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Detroit! Detroit! Gone! 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 Now Ryan on second down. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Grant. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
A good pick up there, 26 yards. down Ryan he's going to take a shot for the end zone and it's caught touchdown as his guys are in for six and his guys have taken a first quarter lead now the try here for the extra point two able to connect on the extra point and that makes the score seven nothing the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November, already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? You know something? You're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's that's front office mindset, yep. draft position. Where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Darnold now on second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. is Cannon. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. play action Darnold and a hit jarred it loose it's incomplete and this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week and it hasn't started all that great here either yeah, and it can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment like oh boy here we go again just like last week each game is its own entity treated as such an incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down Darnold from the gun. And trying to get it to his tight end, Rodgers, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Here's Ryan. He goes underneath the Drake. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Call it a three-yard gain, and it's a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Three down, three down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. 
On second down, here's Ryan. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Avery Williamson coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. And with a third and 14, we have six defensive backs out there now defensively. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Now Ryan on first down. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Eric Reed, the former LSU Tiger, making the play on the defensive side. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And the Jets set to take the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Detroit! Detroit! They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down throw, Darnold, and Rodgers has it over on the right side. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here. They've got it second and ten to start things out. Shotgun, here's Darnold. And he finds the tight end, Rodgers. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. On first and 10, Darnold finding his safety valve here. That's complete. 
And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. Darnold to throw again. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Richard Rodgers, that time. And it's third and short. Well, not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. All right, here we go. Here's Cannon. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. On every snap, the defense is trying to establish who they are, but on third and short, that's really when you put it out there and tell people who you are, and that's exactly what they did. For the offense, they're looking at their offensive line and saying, guys, where are you? We need you on those plays. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Here we go now. Three and 19. Three and 19. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Gary, it's Cannon. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And on the ground they go with a running back. And tough sledding. You know, get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. I can't help it. I'm just sitting back in admiration right now. This defense tells everyone that plays against them, you're not beating us running the football. That's who we are. That's what we're about. It's not going to happen. If you're going to beat us, you better pick another way. Darnold will throw it on third and one. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football.
So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. All right, here we go. Three, 19. A first carry for Elijah McGuire. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here we go now. Right back to him on first down. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down is Darnold. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Boy, the numbers throwing the football, just not trending in the right direction. Last week, he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. Green, 39! Green, 39! Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. I don't think this will even... Nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short. And this score will stay right where it is. It's been a nightmare season. You're well under 500. Your defense hasn't really kept you in a lot of games. And now it's spilling over to the kicking game. That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. Now a chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and 10, way up at the 37. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Here's Ryan. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards on the play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the... And this is caught! And he will take it in for the touchdown! Kenny Stills with touchdown number eight on the year. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Raekwon McMillan in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen right, soon. They'll run with Cannon. And an alley to run. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. 11 yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up a third down. 
It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try and pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. Detroit! Detroit! So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. Back to throw, Darnold. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken around the 12. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Eric Reed, the former LSU Tiger, making the play on the defensive side. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Second and 10 now, Ryan being chased out left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. John Simon in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Third and long, it's Ryan. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Here's Matt Hawk now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. The New York set to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. A final shot before the break. Donald. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. And just like that, on we head to half number two. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff 
spent the entire halftime right, just working six. with Let them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. That throw good for four. It's second down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Play action. It's Ryan rolling to his right. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards in a first. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game, I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. From midfield now, here's Ryan. He's going to loft one deep left side. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Kenny Stills, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And this one through the uprights and good. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Bobby McCain here, the one who brings him down. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here we go, now. They go again with Cannon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Here we go now. 3-19. 3 Here's Darnold. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Now Edwards to kick as he sends it away, taken right about the 40. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! On first down, Drake. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, it's Drake. There he goes, right side. Touchdown! Kenyon Drake, his fourth touchdown on the year. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. 
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drive should berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working and call more of that. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On second down, Darnold. Over the middle, Rodgers has it. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Robert Quinn. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now they try the right side here. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. Third and long, it's Darnold. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give him a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. This will be caught inside the 10. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the 2. That one goes for 24 yards. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. is taken about seven yards deep and he will be brought down here at about the 17 yard line 
So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They built up that lead at intermission, and they're just continuing to pour it on right now, aren't they? Locked into a really good groove right now. I don't know if it's just the play calling. I know the execution is really, really sharp right now, and all the playmakers are doing exactly what you expect. They're making plays, and right now, defense has no answer and no chance of catching up. Yeah, they're just looking to turn anywhere for a stop defensively. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. on the play there as the drive will continue. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Welcome back now here in London. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. First and ten, it's Ryan. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Watch it now, Barney! A pitch out to Drake. Space to maneuver at the 40. He won't go down. <laughs> and he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you could put yourself in jeopardy. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a handoff for Drake, and he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And they still need six yards here on third down after the penalty. Detroit! Detroit! From the shotgun, Ryan. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback when he delivers the ball. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? 
And New York set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Set. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Darnold now on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now let's go. 319. The shotgun snap for Donald. Got it complete to Rodgers. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of one. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Again, Darnold, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside. And that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. A play fake, and it's Darnold. Over the middle complete, it's Rodgers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. All right, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. From the gun. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. The Jets on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and 14. Here's Darnold. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Reggie Ragland. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now let's go. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Now bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And the defense has come up with it. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! Now on first down, Drake again. And some room to maneuver. Through an opening, and there he goes. 20 and DP goes into Jets territory before being taken down a big play there 64 yards a real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone defense still with three timeouts we'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the home team here, the perfect season remains intact as they move to 11-0 on the year. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they've fallen out of things now as they sink to 3-8. and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.